One of the things I fought for was um, in Dubai, uh, women were paid different rate. And when I was at BP, I, I said, um, women should be paid the same. And I took it to the management. I was on the management committee. And um, they changed it and they gave women equal pay. And then I came back to Australia and realised we didn't have paid maternity leave, we didn't have equal pay. <laughs> so it was, a, yeah, a bit of a realisation, um, yeah, that equality is important. My oldest was diagnosed autistic, uh, Asperger's autistic. He'd always been um, slightly eccentric, fantastic memory, you know, uh, talking early, beautiful singer, highly creative, but he didn't fit in the school system, especially the Australian system. We went for the diagnosis, and the thing that I found was people were saying, um, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm like, I was like, He's amazing, he's actually just different. It's not a deficit. It just frustrated me. So I found an organisation where I could learn more about autism and, um, and what, how to support Jack. And it was also slightly deficit mode. So it ma I made it my mission to sort of discover the strengths of autistics. I could see um, so many strengths across the community and Asperger's Victoria now is really focused on helping autistics realise their strengths and realise that actually the power of their difference and to be proud of it and understand. I think self-understanding goes a long way with everyone and I think that's especially important with neurodifference. Because if you're disempowered, then you um, are very self-critical and you actually, your path changes. My dad said when we were young, there is no normal. And I think there is this assumption from having the DSM uh, psychiatric manual. There's normal and then there's abnormal. But there isn't, everyone is different and everyone has a slightly different neurology. And autistics have, each one of them is different. There's no autistics that are the same. So it's really finding the power of your difference and, and realising um, what you can do with that. Make the most of your life. Um, you've got lots of opportunities ahead. Um, be your own supporter. And um, I probably didn't know enough about myself then. I was too busy just, um, yeah, living life. But actually, the more you sort of know about yourself, the more you can um, take life to its limits. I think we need the people with knowledge and um, who are proud of who they are no matter what age and value the maturity that comes with uh, experience and the know-how um, and contribute that to others.